going back again once to the 90s, because that's when all the fun things happened. Uh, back then, again, I was working at this store uh, that um, most time I sat around, I was either cleaning the store or just sitting there. Um, but every night, so I've talked about how this store had DOS uh, registers. Well, the registers every night would we would close out the register and it would dial up headquarters say hey the store is closed and then it would disconnect it wouldn't upload anything at that point and then a few hours later headquarters would dial back to the register and get the information for from the sales from that day and give the the register any updates that it needed to give it so I thought if this computer is just waiting for someone to dial into it, what happens if I dial into it? Now, I wasn't smart enough at the time to really do anything. I didn't understand how ports uh, worked on networks when you connected in, but I was able to, you know, pick up a phone after leaving work. I dialed the store number. It wasn't even a separate number. The store number, ring, ring, you know, sound, you know, fax modem. Okay. Uh, I get home and I open up, and this is back my Windows day, I open up Hyper Terminal and I dial up that number. It connects. I don't get anything. I mean, I don't I don't know, uh, you know, what to even do. I'm like banging on the keyboard to see if anything, you know, I type help, question mark, forward slash, question mark, forward slash, help. You know, I'm, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting a login prompt or anything, but I, I it connected to that machine. Um, you know... Whatever, I gave up after a little bit, went to work the next day, nothing. A few nights later, I try again. Again, I couldn't do anything. You know, I shouldn't be trying to do this anyway, but I, I didn't accomplish anything. Well, I get to work the next day after doing that, and the register isn't, isn't, isn't starting up properly. Not that I messed up the machine in any way, but what happened was I must have tried to connect and I must have been connected to it trying to do something while the headquarters was trying to connect to it and they were unable to connect to it and their computer must have gave up so the register never finished closing out during the night it never it never uploaded all that information so so basically I did a denial of service attack <laughs> on this register before I think there was the term denial of service um, completely accidentally you know I didn't even think you know what happens if I'm connecting connected to it while they're trying to connect um, so I'm, I'm quite sure that this company doesn't you know use the dial-up anymore in that manner but for years it did and in reality if you wanted to mess with this company all you had to do you didn't even need a computer I could have just dialed up the register left the phone off the hook <laughs> And unless unless it disconnected after a while if you didn't actually connect to it like with a computer but I could be I could just keep on you know dialing up that number and block the register and, and when people got to work the next day they wouldn't be able to use the register you know I forgot I had to go through I think I had to call headquarters and and get it all straightened out um, but yeah the uh, very simple to mess up that particular machine with just dialing it up with a phone. Anyway, I thought I'd share that because it's, it's funny how simple some things, I didn't accomplish anything useful unless I was trying to do a denial of service attack, which I was not. And um, yeah, the 90s were fun. Things were different back then. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a great day.